Assalamualaikum, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I nak buat my favourites for July, August and September. Okay, so I decide nak compile 3 bulan sekaligus sebab 3 bulan ni I try quite a lot of products and enough for me untuk compilekan semua dalam satu video ni. Alright, so this time I add a skincare and I add a makeup. Alright, so without any further ado, let's get it started. Play my intro. Okay, so before I get started, I would like to remind you that this is like my impressions and my reviews about this product. I takkan go secara detail for each product sebab ada banyak product kat sini and I tak nak video ni jadi terlalu lama. If you guys are curious about my detail review for each product, kindly leave the comment down below. InsyaAllah, I akan explain through replies ataupun I akan buat another video explaining detail about each product yang korang curious about. Okay. Alright, so the first product for skincare adalah... This one from Dr. Dermis. This is the Hydracetic Amino Gentle Cleanser. Okay, so this is amazing guys. Alright. Kalau korang pernah tengok my previous video, I ada cakap yang my favourite cleanser of all time adalah the one from Hada Labo, the Hydra and Whitening Face Wash. Tapi yang tu adalah yang version yang lama punya, yang mana diorang ada yang pink and the green colour. The newer version is not as hydrating as the previous one tau. So, I mencari juga uh, the cleanser yang as hydrating as the previous version punya. Mencari dan mencari mencari sehinggalah I jumpa this cleanser dekat Watson. This is amazing you guys. Okay, dia hypoallergenic. Colouring free, fragrance free dan juga paraben free. Okay, so this cleanser is like a really good cleanser. Kenapa tau? Yang I notice, the first time I pakai this cleanser, I notice lepas I dah bersihkan muka, I perasan white head, I start keluar. Like, seriously dia macam keluar dengan railernya. Then waktu tu I ingat maybe sebab I pakai oil cleanser, lepas tu I pakai this cleanser and it just cleans really well. Tapi lepas tu, my friend, I ada pergi staycation with my friend lately and dia gunakan the same cleanser and dia cakap benda yang sama. Dia cakap lepas dia cleanse, lepas dia cuci muka dia daripada bilas menggunakan this cleanser, dia notice dia punya white head tu start keluar dengan sendirinya. Macam dah start keluar dekat the surface of the skin. So, apa yang dia buat, dia just, apa yang kita kena buat is just like kita remove pakai cotton bud ataupun kalau korang ada towel yang... Um, very soft one, korang boleh bersihkan hidung and it's like amazing, korang akan rasa sangat-sangat bersih. So, I really love this, dia tak strip off the moisture from your skin. I sangat suka bila korang bersihkan and then the white head tu uh, memang sangat puas, sangat-sangat sangat puas. So, I'm freaking loving this. This is my second bottle already. I sangat-sangat suka. Dia punya key ingredient dia, dia ada amino acid dan juga glycerin dekat sini. Dia ada return dekat sini. Alright, so this is amazing. Sangat, sangat. Alright, moving on to the next product for skincare adalah this toner. This one is from Hi, from Cosarex. This is their Hydrium Watery Toner. I believe try sikit just but I nak try. But, walaupun dia sangat watery, kalau korang tengok, tapi dia tersangat, sangat, sangat, sangat hydrating tau. Like, korang boleh rasa bila korang pakai. I sekarang ni pakai toner menggunakan cotton pad. So, I use this uh, for my morning routine. So, I pakai ni, I pakai cotton pad and it's just that I thought at first waktu I pakai ni, I rasa macam dia tak akan terlalu hydrating sangat. Tapi bila dah pakai, dia meresap, korang boleh rasa dia meresap and korang boleh rasa dia punya hydration tu sangat long lasting. I'm loving this. It's just that untuk malam, tak cukup hydrating untuk I. But kalau korang mungkin kulit berminyak and korang nak uh, cari toner yang hydrating, korang boleh, korang boleh try this one. And dia ada glycerin, dia ada allantoin, dia ada pentanol, dia ada sodium hyaluronate. Ingredients yang sangat-sangat bagus untuk skin barrier and provide hydration. Okay, so you can try this one out. Moving on to the next one adalah this one from Olay. This is their retinol 24 night serum. Okay, so... This is the first time I try to incorporate retinol in my skincare routine. Pada yang mungkin belum familiar dengan retinol, retinol ni adalah sejenis vitamin A yang sangat berbantu untuk anti-aging, untuk hyperpigmentation, uh, menghilangkan kedutan pada wajah to firm your skin dan juga to provide hydration. Okay, it's just that retinol is a bit tricky. Kalau korang baru first time nak try retinol, mungkin korang nak try slowly. Okay, it's not something yang korang nak pakai like every day. Kalau I personally, 
I takut sebab my skin is very sensitive so I apply this serum tiga kali seminggu sahaja so I bagi masa I pakai and then I bagi masa skin I untuk rest lepas tu I pakai lagi and what I can say about this it helps a lot in fading the hyperpigmentation dia membantu memudahkan parut jerawat and I noticed that uh, lepas korang pakai during the night the next morning korang bangun korang akan rasa kulit korang sangat firm sangat hydrated okay, so this is amazing and quite pricey juga tapi I rasa sebabkan I pakai pun tak bukanlah setiap hari and I pakai pun sikit-sikit je nak jimat guys I pakai sikit-sikit je so I love this Okay dia punya texture tu macam lightweight lotion macam tu lah Ha nampak tak okay So sangat cepat meresap dia tak melekit langsung This is my first retinol ever and I'm freaking loving this Okay korang boleh try boleh dapatkan kat Watson Okay, moving on to the next product is this one from Watson Aqua Sun Protection Gel SPF 50 PA++++ Okay, so first of all, I rasa this is the new release from Watson Sebab I baru perasan that day waktu I pergi Watson I nak window shopping kat Watson And then I nampak macam cute packaging So I tengok, wow, Watson's released their own uh, sunscreen Okay, I had to give full reviews about this product in my IG in my Instagram account so feel free to go check them out and if it's good enough click the follow button okay so yeah what I like about this adalah harga dia is very affordable kalau tak salah akhir harga dia dalam RM28 sahaja you dapat 50ml and then it's actually ada key ingredients dalam ni adalah dia ada hyaluronic acid dia ada niacinamide which is good for hydration and also good for brightening the hyperpigmentation then juga dia free from parabens free from fragrance free from mineral oils free from alcohol so this is amazing untuk orang yang ada maybe dry skin and also for those yang ada sensitive skin Okay, but also at the same time, dia punya texture, this is a chemical sunscreen by the way, dia ada chemical UV filters. Alright, the texture is like, oh my god, okay, the texture is like lotion texture, very watery, gel watery texture. Okay, sangat cepat meresap. Okay, you can see, dia macam air sikit. Dia macam like very watery. So, once you apply that and once it's fully absorbed, dia tak akan tinggalkan any sticky or greasy residue on your face. Okay, so memang sangat-sangat okay untuk digunakan for those yang ada dry skin or oily skin. Sangat berbantu. Really cheap for me uh, for sunscreen with that high UV protection. So yes, I'm freaking like Okay, moving on to the next product is this one from Common Labs. This is the Vitamin E Micro Needle Spot Cream. Okay, this is actually an ubat jerawat. Okay, what I like about this adalah it's it's actually a vitamin E cream with micro needles kat dalam cream ni tau. Dia punya dia punya applicator macam ni. Alright, so what you have to do adalah korang kena press this one bagi keluarkan cream and then cream dia tu korang letak kat jerawat tu lah. Okay, what I like about this cream, it's a very unique cream sebab bila korang apply kat jerawat tu, korang akan rasa slightly macam tajam-tajam sikit bila korang apply tu. It's not tak sakit pun tapi korang akan rasa, eh dia macam ada tajam-tajam. Kalau korang boleh nampak texture pun, I don't know if you guys can see the texture here. But, nampak tak dia punya ketajaman tu? Nampak tak? I hope korang boleh nampak. So, dia ada micro needle dalam vitamin E cream ni. So, what you have to do adalah korang apply ni letak dekat uh, spot area ataupun blemish area yang ada jerawat. The, korang akan rasa tajam-tajam and then korang biarkan semalaman. Okay, this should be applied the, as the last step of your routine. What I like about this adalah dia memang sangat cepat mengecutkan jerawat I. And I ada bagi review juga about this product in my Instagram. So, feel free to check them out. Okay, what I like about this memang dia akan bagi you mempercepatkan proses penyembuhan jerawat tu and it really helps to calm down the irritation juga. So it's not just mematikan jerawat tu but dia juga membantu untuk mem menenangkan balik uh, our skin yang tengah stress disebabkan jerawat tu. I really like this. Diorang memang ada banyak sangat ingredients yang sangat-sangat bagus and with the micro needles it really helps the products to be absorbed or to penetrate deeper into our skin. Okay, so sangat-sangat best but it's not something that korang boleh apply every day. Korang kena apply like every two days or every three days. Uh, my experience dengan this product adalah I pakai waktu malam and then the next day I perasan jerawat I tu makin mengecik and then the next day, I tak pakai lagi, I just biarkan je. So the next day tu memang I perasan 
dah makin mengecil and dia kurang memerah. I ada share the photo of uh, the improvement of my acne in my Instagram juga. Okay, so feel free to check them I out. I dah habis talking about skincare. So the next one would be makeup. Alright, so I have three makeup products kat sini. So the first one is mascara. This one is from Silky Girl. This is the double take waterproof duo mascara. Okay, so this mascara from Silky Girl, dia ada dua end. So the first one, you ada the double part. Okay, so this one, this this is the applicator. Dia is waterproof. Dia waterproof. And then the first applicator tadi, kalau korang apply, korang akan perasan dia meng, mem, menambahkan volume to your mask, uh, to your eyelash. So korang memang rasa macam dia volumizekan uh, you punya bulu mata. So I really like it. And then the second one, okay, the applicator is so, so small. Macam ni. What I notice adalah the second one ni kalau you apply dia, kan tadi dia dah volumizekan uh, your eyelashes. Yang second applicator pula dia bagi melentik sikit. So it's really nice. It's not terlalu overwhelming sangat the mascara. So I sangat-sangat suka. It's waterproof. Sometimes I boleh pakai salah satu sahaja depending on my mood. And sometimes kalau ada nak extra glam, I akan pakai dua-dua. So I really really love. Next products adalah eyeshadow palette. Okay, so if you tanya I which eyeshadow palette yang korang nak ada for those yang mungkin just pakai for everyday makeup. Kalau korang tanya I which eyeshadow palette yang korang boleh split your money on. For me, this brand will provide you good eyeshadow palette. But at the same time, price, price the point is quite affordable. Okay, it's from Colourpop. So, I have two Colourpop eyeshadow palette right here. So, the first one is Going Coconut. And then the second one is the Sweet Top palette. Okay, so these two color adalah really is my color. So, bila I rasa I nak pergi for brown, earthy tone, I akan go for this eyeshadow palette. Okay, so dia ada sembilan color dekat sini. The Going Coconut. Kalau nak cakap supplementation dia, memang dah tak perlulah. It's really, really good eyeshadow palette. So, I bagi you swipe, swatch for one colour. This one is Shell Yeah. Okay, this one. Okay. Korang tengok eh. Nampak tak? Nampak tak? Oh, dia memang sangat-sangat high quality. Dengan harga yang affordable for me. Quite affordable lah. Okay, the next one adalah, this is my favourite shade. This is the Coco Crush. Yang ni. Okay. This is the glitter but I really like the glitter. Nampak tak? You see that? I macam wow, colour pop. Good job. Good job. Okay. The next one adalah this one, the Sweet Top Palette. Okay, so bila I nak pakai yang macam brownish colour, I akan pakai this. In fact, for today's makeup, I pakai yang Going Coconut. Alright, so the next one adalah the Sweet Top Palette. What I like about this, warna dia is peachy, not too pink tone. So this is my second favourite colour. So I bagi you test the peachy one. Okay, you nampak tak? Okay, korang tengok eh. Nampak tak dia punya peach? Dia tak powdery. It's just enough. Dia very pigmented, not too powdery and it glides so smoothly. Sangat senang nak blend. Okay, so I show you one glitter. My favourite is this one. This one. This is side to side. Okay. Yang ni I suka sebab dia punya glitter tu is like the wet glitter. Ah, nampak tak? So, I kadang-kadang I pakai dua colour je untuk filming. Okay, I'm not the type yang keluar pergi kerja pakai makeup, pakai eyeshadow palette. Sometimes kalau I nak pakai, I pakai satu colour je which is the brown colour, natural colour. Can you just look at that? Look at the matte eyeshadow and the glitter eyeshadow. Wow, 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 wow. wow. Sangat-sangat suka. So, kalau korang memang nak cari eyeshadow palette yang berkualiti but also not too pricey, Korang definitely boleh go for colour pot of them. Harga dia bawah RM100. Alright, so I think that was it. That's my favourites from July, August and September. I really hope this video will help you out to find out which product is the best for you. Again, if you find this video helpful, click the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Visit my IG page. I share a lot of reviews about skincare, about makeup. So if that sounds like your thing, if that is good enough for you, click the follow button. So thank you so much for watching. I wish you every happiness. See you in my next video. Assalamualaikum and bye.